This is one of the songs my mother sang to me when I was a little girl. When I was in hiding, I sang the song to myself, and I made believe that my mother is standing right next to me. Intern Frippetschi, Brent of Hoyano, in Stiefel's face, in the reverend kleine Kinderlach, dem Olive Face, Zuck, Chip, noch a I speak about the war to my grandchildren and other children is not to make them feel sad or to make them feel frightened. I tell them my story to give them an example of how bad life can be for people, for children, if we don't learn to tolerate one another. Good morning. Good morning. I'm very pleased and proud to have been invited to speak in your school again. I want to tell you, I want to share with you my wartime experiences. I was a Jewish child, and my life was saved by some very wonderful Christian people. I want to tell you how it all started. My name is Joanna Zaluka. I was born in Lvov in 1923. When the war broke out, I was 16 years old. Ruth was 10 years younger than me. When the Germans entered Lvov, I heard they were going to kill all the Jewish people. And I was very, very scared. The Germans established the ghetto so they would have all the Jewish people in one place. It would be easy for them to find the Jews. The first deportation was for children. My parents didn't decide to have me hidden. They didn't know of anybody who would hide me until my father met Mrs. Shigil in the street outside of the ghetto. Ruth's parents were friends with my mother and father. Her father had a candy shop, and on the way to school, I would always pass it. And very often, he treated me. My family considered how to help the Gamza family. We would have all been murdered, all of us. The Germans were murderers. They were merciless. Besides, there were warning posters against providing hiding places for the Jewish people. We were touched by the tragedy. That is why my parents decided to save Ruth. I think that I was told a day before I had to go. I knew I was going with Tato, Daddy in Polish, and I would be safe. I was under my father's coat, and I um, wrapped my arms around his leg, and he told me that Mrs. Stegio is coming to pick me up, and I started to cry. <laughs> This is the house where my family lived during the war. This is where we brought Ruth. I have not been back here for many years. At the beginning, we were trembling with fear for her and for our own lives. The lives of everyone in the apartment. But slowly, we got used to the thought that if we hid her well, Nothing bad would happen to us. Tak, 
That is where we hid her, behind that wall. It's changed. This is where Ruth stayed for eight months. One room and then the other. In that last room, Ruth was hidden. <laughs>